Hey there, YouTube. You're with Got That Funk. How you doing? This is a video response to my friend Kazum Fowler. I haven't made Kazum a video for ages. How you doing, bud? Um, obviously, this is a response to your video on gentrification, or your response to a racist on gentrification. And um, we've already established in the comments section that your problem with her video was more to do with her racism than her views on gentrification. So I don't really need to discuss that too much with this video, but. You did say in your video that, you know, you said to her that if she doesn't like the way things are in America, that she should just get out. And uh, I find this ironic in the context of a discussion about gentrification, because um, if you want to fight against gentrification, the very worst thing you can do is leave, because basically you're giving the oppressors exactly what they want. They want you to get out. Yeah, so you're basically surrendering. You're putting your hands up and going, okay, you can go ahead and take my home away from me. Fuck that. No. If, if you're suffering from the form of oppression, which is gentrification, then the worst thing you can do is comply. So that's one issue. The other issue is the general notion. And this has been around ever since I was a kid. When I was a kid and there were hippies everywhere, um, I remember you'd get some sort of more establishment type Americans like my parents had bumper sticker that said America love it or leave it and I've discussed this on my channel before but that was about five years ago because I disagree with that mentality in the extreme uh, from my point of view that is fascistic thinking this idea that if you don't belong to the majority or, and you're not willing to homogenize with the majority that you basically don't belong and that you should therefore get out nope wrong we need to get it into our heads, all of us, that diversity is a strength, not a weakness. Okay? We, do ha we don't have to homogenize in order to coexist. Um, and more to the point, if you're not happy with the status quo, whoever you are, from whatever background, if you're not happy with the status quo, it is incumbent upon you to try to change it. To make yourself happy is a human responsibility. And to make your country better is a civic responsibility. We all have that responsibility. And so the first step in fixing a problem is to identify the problem. And one of the ways we identify a problem is by complaining about it. By complaining about a problem, we bring attention to the problem. By bringing lots of attention to the problem, you get lots more complaining about the problem, and hopefully it creates a critical mass via which change can occur. Solutions can be found, or at least we can alleviate the problem, if not solve it. Okay, so yeah, not only do I think telling her to move out of the country is wrong, um, just morally speaking, it's, it's wrong practically speaking because by telling people that if you don't like the way things are to get out, you're implying that you're okay with the status quo, that you think things are just dandy, thanks very much, and anybody who doesn't think like you should basically fuck off. No, you know, that, ironically, is Borg. Not what she was saying is Borg in her video. Uh, you know, this idea that we all have to think the same and do and, and do along the same lines, that, that is basically being part of the whole, you know, collective mind. And, you know, we should celebrate our individuality and we should also, um, in my opinion, try to fix problems when we identify them. I don't begrudge anybody for complaining about the status quo, whatever their background, whatever their complaint, if their complaint is based on their own experiences and uh, their hopes, they've got a right to make those complaints. You know, we all have the right to free speech. And we have the responsibility, I think, to, in a democracy, to participate and, and exercise our democratic rights as much as possible, which is not limited to the right to vote. It's also limited to, the, you know, it's, it's also extends to, uh, you know, using your free speech in the right to protest. Protesting is every bit as much a fundamental part of what makes us free as voting. You know, so if you're not protesting and you're not happy with the status quo, you're not living up to your civic responsibilities. So the solution isn't to move. The solution is to find solutions. And by castigating someone for complaining, you almost, in my opinion, abrogate your own right to complain when you're unhappy with the status quo. 
So I think we should be very careful when we tread down this path. Right, I think I've said everything I wanted to say in this video. I want to thank you all for watching. Please, let's have a lively discussion in the comments section. I look forward to that. And until next time, may the funk be with you, always.